All right, you guys, we're at Sun Lake right now. Don't mind the shop, we're getting it nicer. But we got Austin today, came all the way from Mississippi. He was here for a bowl game. Yeah. Yeah, that's what's up. You guys won. Yep. Mississippi fan over here. What are you getting done today, bro? So I normally get like a, I'm trying to transition into like a burst fade. Okay. So uh, just a burst fade. You can kind of just leave the top. I'm trying to grow it out. Okay. And then you know, the back. Yeah. All right, Burst fan, what are you doing with the beer? Just cleaning it up? Yeah, I just got to. Yeah. <laughs> I've been there, whatever. bro. I've been there. Yeah. I've been there. There's, there's hope. <laughs> All right, cool. Let's do it. All right, guys, I'm going to do the turbo mo method. We're going to start with a number one here. I'm going to go open now. All right, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to this three guard because what I want to do is I want to debulk this. His hair is super long, and I honestly don't know what I'm cutting into. I'm going three open, and I'm going straight up. What I don't want to do either is ruin the shape by just going straight into the curvature of his head. And now I know that I'm cutting into a number three. And same thing here. You guys can see that I'm keeping my clipper off the head like this. I'm going like this, keeping that squared shape, keeping that squared shape. So if this was like this, boom, that's what it looks like. Now that we've done the three, remember this was a one open. I'm gonna go to my two open. You guys can see it's almost blending in from that one open. Not everybody's hair, honestly, is gonna blend as well with that two open. All right, so guys, I'm at my two closed now. You guys can see that's almost brought it together. Every now and then you'll see me opening and closing the lever. That's just like, just in case I feel like I'm, I'm going too high, I'll open it up just to test the waters first. Like right now I'm open just to test the waters and then right beneath that, I'll go close. Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna detail in just a bit. So now I got my, I'll go to my one and a half guard and then I can really start fading it. All right, so I got my one and a half all the way open. We're closing it little by little. Again, don't have to be perfect, but we just want a nice solid blend, something that's passable till we get to the detailing portion. Opening it up just in case I feel like I'm getting a little too high. And now we got a solid foundation here. I'm gonna go ahead, do the other side the same way before we go to the ball, just so I can make sure that both sides are like the same height in, in the fade. Number three open, remember squared. And we'll refine that blend into the, the length here with, with shears, with scissors. Okay, now I'm going three close. And now it's gonna be easy to go number one and blend into that. So now we'll go number one guard. Now number one, open. Then we'll do number two, open. I need a better number two. Number two, struggling. <laughs> All right, number two, close. Okay, now we can go to that one and a half guard we talked about. So marry the two together. That one open and that two guard closed. Okay, I'm gonna close up that one and a half guard a little bit. Because now we can go into the ball fade. What I like about Mo's system here is I can go from bald and work my way all the way up to that three guard and it'll be like I'm cross-checking everything. I already faded this area. I'm gonna re-fade it, cross-check everything. With burst fades, I like to keep the C cup dark. Do you want the C cup dark or you want to fade it out? Whatever you think, it doesn't matter. All right, he has a nice C cup, so we'll, we'll keep it a little bit dark. That's gonna give that burst effect. So I'm gonna go bald right here in the middle. And now we can open it up. So I'm all the way open at this point going about an inch up in like this round motion. So now I'm gonna open it up one notch, taking out that line we created with the clipper closed. I opened it up uh, about two, two more notches and up a little bit higher. A little bit of a line right here. So I'm gonna close it back up and just use my corners to try to remove that line while I'm here, while I can see it. All right, now I'm almost all the way open. So I'm right beneath that guideline all the way open again and just might go a little bit higher than where I was with that initial guideline. All right, that's looking pretty good. So now we'll go to our half guard, guys. And the half guard and a little bit of detailing should finish this, this fade out. So half guard or number zero depends on what tool you use. One and a half millimeters, all the way open. Shouldn't be creating another line, any more lines. But if it does, that's all right, we'll fix it during the detailing portion. But I'm all the way open with this half guard. Usually with these burst fades, where I gotta spend a lot of my time detailing is in this area, getting it to look right. Now I'm gonna close it up some, work right beneath where I just left off. I'm about one notch from being all the way closed. I can start jumping to my guards above that. Same guards, same steps. This is where the fade's gonna come a little bit more better together. My one guard is closed now. Yeah, I'll probably go up a little bit higher with the one and a half guard now. You guys can see the blends coming together a little by little. Number two, and then once we do that number three, guys. Two closed, number two open. And then last step, number three, we'll line it up and get to the other side. Whatever we don't see now, we're going to see 
after the lineup. And after we go to the other side, we come back. So, all right, let's go ahead and get the C cup. While we're here with the trimmer, let's really bald it out. I'm using a lot of corner, a lot of flicking here, trying not to create more lines, but still get it bald. Now we can do a line back here. Only thing I don't like about this trimmer is how big the body is. It's a little hard to get behind the ear. Look how the, the blend starts to come to life a little bit nicer. How do you want the line in the front? Do you want it like blunt, like straight? Do you want it textured? How do you, how do you um, want it? since I'm going it out, probably just like textured a little bit. Textured, okay. You could probably hit the corners. Yeah, I'm gonna hit the corners. Yeah. We're only gonna do the corners. We'll probably point cut a little bit just to soften up the front, but he is growing it out, so we don't want to cut in length. Get this side blurry, y'all. So I've cut one side, I'm, I'm learning his hair, so I'll be more comfortable on this side. This side should be a quicker blend. This is the blade open, no guard. Now I close it up a little bit, close it up a little bit more. We're just making sure it's looking gradient. Now we're pretty much a lever from being closed. That looks pretty blended. Now we're gonna go to our half guard. Close it up about halfway, guys. I'm just working right beneath where I left off. Okay, and I can close it up. At this point, I'm all the way closed, using a lot of corners. Going back to my one guard, and now we're just gonna go up the same steps until it's blended, until we got a nice blend. I'm all the way open with my one guard. Yeah, I wanna bring up something in this video to kinda address your comments lately. So some of you guys have been commenting on our featured barbers and your comments are, first off, I think they're unnecessary and they, they don't help anybody. But the responses a lot of times will be, you know, it's constructive criticism. You guys need to learn how to take constructive criticism. Constructive criticism is not, bro, that fade is trash. It got all kinds of lines in it. Constructive criticism is, bro, that fade could be better. To be honest with you, it's not, it's not up to par. Why don't you try using the corners of your clippers, especially around the C cup area? There was some lines there. That's constructive because it's criticism with some constructive advice attached to it. Your comments are, man, that boy, I would never let him cut my hair. And then when I say, bro, shut up, you guys want to come back with, oh, you can't take constructive criticism. You guys don't know the definition of constructive criticism. So there's a another lesson on top of this haircut tutorial. All right, guys, so I'm at my one close now because I, I just did the one open. I see the a lot of like, you know, we have a Facebook group, the 245 Facebook group. There's about 25,000 members on there and people go back and forth. And a lot of times it's people will get mad at the guy who's asking for criticism, for constructive criticism. And then their constructive criticism would be like, oh, you need a lot of work, bro. And then the poster will get upset about it. And then the guy who wrote that comment would be like, bro, you can't take advice. Bro, you, what advice did you give? We're at our one and a half guard open. Guys, and look how the blend is really starting to come together. This side blends nicer than the other. I'm gonna do my best to get the other side of the match just as well. Any experienced barber knows not one side blends the same, guys. Everybody's hair is kind of like fingerprints. They're so different. The hair growth patterns, the indents, the hair texture. Just like a fingerprint is different, the whole thing is different. Same thing with, with a canvas here. Hair growth here is gonna be different than here, than here, than here, than here. So all a barber can do is try their best to get everything to match, but don't sit there killing yourself because it doesn't match perfectly. A lot of guys will try to make the perception that they get it perfect on every side and that's not the case. The other thing is too, when I was cutting hair guys full time, most of my clients would not have been the type of model you would want for a bar battle or for, for an Instagram photo, most of them. And most of them didn't want the type of haircuts that you guys would appreciate in a YouTube tutorial. Most of them want basic haircuts. Oh, give me a one and a half with a low taper. Oh, give me a number two on the sides with finger length on top, no lineup. That's reality for all you young guys who've, who've never worked in the shop. That's reality. Because in high school, everybody wants that, that trendy haircut. In college, everybody wants that trendy haircut. But in the real world, people are gonna want a brush back with a number three on the sides. You know, like that, like people are gonna want an even Steven with a lineup. That's reality. All right, guys, this side is done. We can go ahead and line him up. And what I'm gonna do, like I, like I do every cut, is I'm gonna do the lineup, do his beard, and then we'll come back and do any final details, touches, really bring the cut to life. Remember, we're, we're using a lot of corner. We're flicking out a lot. So I'm lifting it up to see where his original hairline is. You guys see that? 
about where we needed to end. How you want the the back? The back is naturally like a V. On yeah. You. That's yes. how you want it. Yeah, that's how. I okay. Do. Yeah. This cut works perfect on you, bro. Yeah, I figure out. I ain't never done it before, so. Oh, this is the first time you got a burst fade? No, I've been having a, a burst fade, but. Uh, like growing it out like this? Growing it out, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I normally just keep my hair short. What made you want to grow it out? Honestly, I don't know. Just to try something new. Switch it up. Yeah, yeah switch it up. All right, so obviously now that it's lined up, guys, I got work to do on this side. Oh, uh, let's look at this side right here. This side looks looks pretty good. I got work to do right here. Said so we're gonna point cut the front just a tad bit. Mostly just in this area right here. 90% of people where it gets really, really bulky, that's where we wanna kinda thin it out. So we're gonna take small sections and point cut straight into it, guys. Straight into it. These shears have seen better days. So you guys can see the length is still there, but it's just wispier, softer. And underneath that, we'll grab another section. And the same concept. Okay, and so I, you guys saw all that hair that flew off. See how it's looking? It's looking good. Right in here, I need to focus a little bit more. So I need to take a small section, even lower, and just focus down here. You can point cut right into it, guys. Look at that, much softer. All right, so guys, so you saw we refined it with the with scissor over comb. That made a huge difference, I feel like. Oh. Careful on this, because you guys can see he's got a hole right here. I haven't even touched that area. Tito, let's get it. All right, guys, this is the goat clay. It's only available on Amazon, goaded. Um, but I do need your help, guys. I'm trying to make this the top selling clay on Amazon, a product by Barbers for Barbers. So if you guys can help me out, if you do order one, please do write us a review. It mean the world to us. It would really help us out, gain traction on Amazon. So please do write a review for us. It's much appreciated. And uh, let us know for real what you guys think about the clay. And guys, with the fragrance on this, it activates when you apply it into the hair. When you just smell the puck, from the, the product from in the puck, you don't really get the full fragrance of the product. And that's pretty much why I like it so much because I don't like overbearingly fragrance in product. A lot of guys, you guys are wearing cologne and you know, you have your fragrances. A lot of hairstyling products clash with that, with those fragrances. So this is why I like, I like a nice fresh smell, but not overbearing when you got uh, other fragrances and stuff on. Forgot this part guys, important part. And honestly, I, I like to use the razor on the mustache area first so that it's a fresh, sharp razor um, and it's more comfortable for the client. But if it felt like it was struggling, I would put a fresh razor on. I think the clay also gives a nice amount of control back here, the longer length here, especially around the line, the actual line. It gives a nice texture so it doesn't run away from the client. You could always put hairspray to give it a little bit of extra hold. Let's check out the after.